Ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship. The salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. But the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Israelites, if you can discern spirit from flesh, you will find success, not only in your personal life, but collectively as a people. When the people of the Most High know how to connect with their Elohim and know what it means to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth, the people will triumphant over the kingdom of darkness. The Most High gave us power to trample serpents, scorpions, and over the entire kingdom of darkness, and by no means could they hurt you. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. To tap into the power the Most High gave to his people to trample serpents and scorpions and over the entire kingdom of darkness, the people of the Most High must obey their Elohim and is able to discern spirit from flesh. Until the people of the Most High know how to differentiate spirit from flesh, they will live defeated lives. The scripture is revealed to us in the book of Matthew that Satan has control over all the nations in this world. Satan offered Yahshua all the kingdoms of this world if he bow down to worship him. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Satan is the god of this world, the beast system. Many leaders of this world serve Satan. That is why the scripture said we are dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places. Keep in mind, Israelites, Satan is in power because the Most High allow it. Just because it appears as if the kingdom of darkness is ruling, the Most High has the final say in everything. The Most High is aware of what is taking place. There has never been a time the Most High was not in control. The scriptures must be fulfilled. The Most High used whosoever to fulfill the scriptures. The scripture said, it is the most high that appoint kings and dethrone them as well. Never allow what is happening in this world determine the most high sovereignty. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Idolatry is the gateway for the kingdom of darkness to enter and place strongholds in governments that is passed down to the people. Idols are anything that you place before the Most High. An idol take first place in your life. Idolatry is admiring and worshiping objects and people more than the Most High. Anything can be an idol. The Most High made it clear to his people that there should be no other gods before him. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. The sin of idolatry is replacing the Most High with a lesser deity that can't do anything for you. Satan understand if he can get the people into idol worship, he can separate the people of the Most High from their Elohim. Satan used religion to create the greatest idol of all times. This idol has replaced the most high in the hearts of many Israelites, as well as the strangers worldwide. When Satan presents to the world the graven image of the Son of God as the most high in the flesh, he successfully separated many Israelites and the strangers who accepted the Elohim of Israel from the most high. Until this day, Israelites and indigenous black people all over the world live defeated lives. They worship and praise the Son of God wholeheartedly and their conditions never improve. 
if the son of God was truly the Elohim of Israel in the flesh, the sins of his people would have been forgiven. Therefore, will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not, neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall ye serve other gods day and night, where I will not show you favor. The indigenous black people do not find favor because they are worshiping the greatest idol of all time, the son of God. In multiple scriptures, you can read how Yahshua instruct the people to worship the father. Also, Yahshua saying to the people that he did not come to be worshiped or praised. With the assistance of the Holy Spirit, you can find the real Messiah that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel in the scriptures. The humble Messiah is not looking to be praised, but to connect the lost sheep to the Father, the Elohim of Israel. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. The beast culture has many people worshiping the false messiah that came in his own name. The beast culture have a tradition to worship the false messiah every December 25th. The scripture said the people of the Most High are following the traditions of men. The Christian faith is centered around the messiah that came in his own name and not the Most High. The scripture said the people who does the will of the Most High, the Father, will enter the kingdom. I did not read anywhere in the scriptures to worship Jesus. I did read if you follow the teachings of Yahshua about the Father, you will enter the kingdom. There is a major difference in worshiping and following the teachings of Yahshua. Just like there is a difference in repenting and accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Israelites, it is important to discern Yahshua from the false Messiah that the world accepted and made God over themselves. It is important for every Israelite to understand the Most High will not share his glory with anyone. The Most High used people to show himself strong through. However, he does not want you to worship the people he used. That is going against the first commandment. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Satan know that the sin of idolatry would cause a separation between the Most High and his people. Satan inserted himself into the scriptures as the Son of God to get the people to bow down and worship him. Satan accomplished this when the council of Nicaea altered the scriptures. They added and removed whatever their hearts desire. The workers of iniquity continue with the alterations in every generation. That is the reason for the many versions of the Bible. With over 2 billion people accepting the Messiah that came in his own name, Satan gained the worship he lusts after, as well as fulfilling the desire to become like the Most High. Discernment is key in the last days. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Through idolatry, the kingdom of darkness gained access to many people's lives. The powers that hides behind the idols are demons and unclean spirits. The beast culture is another method Satan used to separate the people from the Most High. If the kingdom of darkness is not successful in trapping you in religion, Satan seeks to trap the people through the beast system. The kingdom of darkness built a system in the physical realm that dominates the lives of the people all over the world. Many people refer to this system as white supremacy, Illuminati, or the elites. The scriptures refer to Satan's network as the beast system or the synagogue of Satan. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. 
and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. The beast system is a network that consists of world governments, corporations, agriculture, religion, nonprofit organizations, Hollywood, and anything that has to do with this world. Satan used the people that follow him to run the beast system. These individuals are the people in power behind the scenes. The people the synagogue of Satan present to us as our leaders are puppets. They are not truly in power. They are controlled like everyone who accepts the beast culture. The people in power are the people behind the scenes. For example, Biden is not the United States president. The mask elites behind the scenes are running governments and nations all over the world. Biden is the face that is used to comfort the people's desire of having a traditional leader. In addition to disguise the powers of the kingdom of darkness that is truly in control behind the scenes. Israelites, the most high warn you not to place a stranger as king over you. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. Whom the Lord thy God shall choose, one from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. The reason the Most High warned his people of setting a leader that is not of their bloodline over them, the Most High know what's in the heart of the leaders you set over yourself. The Most High did not choose the leaders of this world to reign over his people. Remember how the Most High revealed the intent of the Israelites' first king, Saul? Despite the Most High revealing the character of having a man as their king over the Most High, the Israelites still wanted a man for a leader to be like the other nations. Due to their inability to discern the things of the Spirit over flesh, the people of the Most High perish. And ye shall cry out in that day because of your king which ye shall have chosen you. And the Lord will not hear you in that day. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, Nay, but we will have a king over us, that we also may be like all the nations, and that our king may judge us, and go out before us, and fight our battles. Today, the indigenous black people are suffering by the hands of the very people they vote to be kings, leaders, or presidents over them. The workers of iniquity who run this world with Satan are filled with unclean spirits. For Satan to become the god of this world, his angels and evil spirits must control the workers of iniquity that are in power. Israelites, it is important that you comprehend the Most High when he said, We do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but with principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 is revealing a lot we are fighting with principalities principalities are high-ranking demons in the kingdom of darkness remember satan imitates everything the most high does the most high have angels archangels and other ranking angels there is a hierarchy system in the angelic world Satan has a hierarchy system in the kingdom of darkness. Principalities are high-level demons that is set over a region. The verse continued to say, We are wrestling with the rulers of darkness of this world. Satan has power over all the kingdoms of this world. You heard in the book of Matthew how he offered the kingdoms of this world to Yahshua. Yeshua made it known that his kingdom is not of this world. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. The nations that profess to be one nation under God you must ask yourself what God they are referring to. Yeshua separated himself from the nations of this world when he said his kingdom is not of this world. When the thousand year reign comes, that is Yeshua's kingdom. 
So far, no humans are identified as your opponent when you are engaging in spiritual warfare. Verse 12 in Ephesians chapter 6 said, spiritual wickedness in high places. The high level workers of iniquity are humans with legions of demons controlling them. This minority group is not connected with the Most High. They hate the Elohim of Israel. Satan is their God. That is why you should not listen to their solutions and wisdom. They serve Satan and not the Most High. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Seeking wisdom from the leaders of this world is like asking Satan for wisdom. The leaders that stand up to the beast system are often killed. The beast system is Satan's network in the physical realm. Israelites, religion, and the beast culture is a smoke screen to keep you from entering the battlefield. If Satan can keep you focused on the affairs of the flesh, you will remain defeated. The workers of iniquity will instruct you to pray. The reason they encourage you to pray, they know that people are praying to idols in religion. Many people have accepted Satan as their Lord and Savior. If they can keep you worshiping and praying to the false Messiah, you will never find deliverance. That is why the awakening is happening for the people of the Most High to get to know the true Elohim of Israel and return to serving him in the spirit and in truth. And it shall come to pass. For all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before thee. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee, and shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity, and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. When you can correctly identify your opponent, you found the root. When you can discern between the spirit and flesh, you have located the real battlefield. For many years, the kingdom of darkness made you target the beast system as the battlefield. For many generations, Israelites and the strangers have attacked the people they can see in the beast system to end their oppression. Many people worldwide have conducted protests after protests. Some find temporary relief. However, temporary solutions do not solve a problem. The indigenous black people whom the Most High gave dominion of this earth never found success fighting the people they believe is the root to their problems. This is the reason they face the same problems in every generation. Dear indigenous black people and the strangers who serve the Elohim of Israel, your problems are unclean spirits in the kingdom of darkness. The scripture said, submit yourself to the most high, resist the devil and he would flee from you. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. You can't resist any devil if you love the beast culture. You can't resist the devil if you worship the God of this world. You can't resist the devil if you make covenants with the kingdom of darkness. You can't resist the devil if you can't differentiate between the spirit and the flesh. You live in a world that caters to your flesh. You must step out of the box and enter the spirit to find success. Israelites, the root to your problems are unclean spirits. Everything is a spirit. When you are angry, that is a spirit. When you are sick, that is a spirit. Division, hate, jealousy, envy, fear, death, poverty are all spirits. Do not believe the beast system when they tell you these spirits are feelings and emotions. All these so-called emotions and feelings are spirits. You must deal with them accordingly. When the even was come... They brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Esaias the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities, and bare our sicknesses. 
Hate is not an emotion. It is a spirit. It is time for you to understand that you're dealing with spirits. When you know that you're dealing with spirits, you can follow the Most High's instructions on how to cast out devils. You must engage in spiritual warfare to cast out devils. In the scriptures, the first thing Yahshua did was cast out devils when the people came to him with problems. Yahshua did not instruct them to protest and take prescription drugs. Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed, for oft times he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Yeshua knew immediately that the root to the problems the people were having come from unclean spirits. The scriptures say Yeshua healed the people. Attacking the root will solve the numerous problems we are facing daily. It is time to attack the root. Israelites, some devils can only be cast out through prayer and fasting. Albeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. When you are dealing with principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places, you need to engage in spiritual warfare. With spiritual warfare, fasting is a must. Israelites, the battlefield is the spirit realm. This is the reason you focus on the unseen. Spirits are unseen and they are in the spirit realm. Stop attacking spirits in the flesh. You will not find victory fighting in the flesh. Only temporary relief. Remember, everything that is going to happen in this world will take place in the spirit realm first. To gain victory, you must destroy the kingdom of darkness in the spirit realm and it will manifest in the physical realm. For example, saying to the world leaders you will not take the jab and quitting your job is a temporary fix to the problem. As you can see, the kingdom of darkness continue to restrict our lives. Many people are protesting the mandates and engaging in criminal activities to get the workers of iniquity in high places to remove the restrictions. Some people will find temporary relief However, majority of this world is still affected by the decisions of the workers of iniquity in high places. What the people of the Most High must do is stop attacking spirits in the flesh. Attacking the kingdom of darkness in the flesh is like Satan attacking himself. The scripture said, can Satan cast out Satan? If Satan casts himself out, he is divided against himself. How can his kingdom stand? And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Casting out devils in the flesh is giving the kingdom of darkness home field advantage. Every time you act in the flesh, you will be defeated. You need to attack the kingdom of darkness in the spirit realm. Once you identify the opponent, engage in spiritual warfare through prayer and fasting. Remember, we are dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places. The scripture said casting out high level devils require fasting. Fasting is sending the Elohim of Israel against your enemies. Israelites, make sure to conduct fasting that are acceptable to the Most High. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thine head and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Israelites, you do not want to enter the battlefield unprepared. To win the battle, you must be prepared. Know the words of the Most High. Know who your opponents are. Humble yourself before the Most High and tell the Most High what you want Him to do. As always, make sure your requests are in line with the words of the Most High. Right now, we are dealing with the spirit of infirmity through the pandemic, the spirit of death through the jab, the spirit of fear for control, the spirit of poverty from the loss of jobs, 
There are many other unclean spirits operating at this hour. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. The people of the Most High must get up and attack those spirits, not Gates, Biden, Fauci, and the other workers of iniquity. The kingdom of darkness and the unclean spirits behind the scenes are your targets. Once the kingdom of darkness is destroyed, the workers of iniquity in the physical realm will be a part of their destruction. When the unclean spirits come to forge a covenant in the spirit realm, you need to destroy their covenants. The Most High is not giving his people dreams and visions in the last days for no reason. If the people of the Most High paid attention to their dreams and visions, they would have known about the times we're living in beforehand. And it shall come to pass, in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Declining to take the jab and quitting your jobs is not attacking the root. The workers of iniquity will continue to restrict your life. It is when you engage in spiritual warfare and attack the kingdom of darkness, you tell the idols of your father's house, I will not bow down to you. Let them know as for me and my house, I will serve the most high. You tell the spirit of infirmity and poverty to go jump in the lake of fire and die. You tell the spirit of death to go kill your sender. That is the kind of fighting the kingdom of darkness fear. Use the words of the Most High to activate the army of the Most High. Father, you said your words will not return to you void, but it will do what you sent it to do. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Father, you said it is a fearful thing to be cast into the hands of the living Elohim of Israel. Father, I cast these devils and the workers of iniquity into your hands. Let them reap from the evil seed they have sown. Blot out their names so they will never obtain everlasting life. Remember the sins of their fathers and rain your judgment upon them. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord. And let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. You must remind the Most High of his words and continue to fast and pray. Once you begin to fight back by attacking the spirits in the spirit realm on the real battlefield, you will begin to see the results manifest in the physical realm. All of a sudden, the workers of iniquity in high places will begin to remove the mandates. Many of the restrictions the kingdom of darkness placed in your life will be removed. Israelites, that is how you fight in the spirit. You spent too many years fighting in the flesh and without the most high. When you begin to do this, know that the kingdom of darkness will fight back. Do not be surprised of the increased attack against you and many things begin to fall apart in your life. That is the kingdom of darkness way of trying to intimidate you. You are winning. Stand firm and continue until you find deliverance. Israelites, knowing who your opponents are and the location of the battlefield is key in spiritual warfare. The more you attack in the spirit, the more victories you would obtain. The enemy will have no choice but to flee. In the times we're living in, we must follow the instructions of the Most High. The workers of iniquity kept spiritual warfare out of religion on purpose. They don't want you to know how to fight back. Watch the videos on the Spirit Round playlist as well as the Spirit playlist for more wisdom and understanding. The Most High is with His people. Y'all want to deliver His people. You don't have to live under demonic strongholds. The Most High has the final say. Israelites, Allow the Most High to show himself strong through you. By allowing the Most High to reign in your life, you will live in perfect peace while the world is in chaos. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shalt thou be established, 
thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord.